How to put on a dog harness. A harness allows you to safely walk your dog without worrying that they may run off. Harnesses put less pressure on your dog's neck, and they allow you to train your dog not to jump or pull. At first, your dog's harness might seem confusing and impossible to put on, but it's easier than it looks. Depending on the type of harness you've purchased, you'll either need to have your dog step into the harness or slip it over the dog's head. Putting on a step in harness. Place the unbuckled harness on the ground. You need enough space for you and your dog to get behind the harness. The harness should have two leg loops in the front with straps down the middle. Spread out the straps so it will be easier to help the dog into the harness. If your harness has a vest or chest cover attached to it, make sure the outside is facing down toward the floor. If your harness has a vest or chest cover attached to it, make sure the outside is facing down toward the floor. Command your dog to sit and stay behind the harness. This makes it easier to help your dog into the harness. If your dog hasn't learned sit and stay commands, you or a partner will need to hold the dog still while you put on the harness. If the dog squirms, it's best to have a partner to help you get it into the harness. Place your dog's front paws into the correct loops on the harness. Pick up the right paw and move it forward into the appropriate loop. After you put the right paw down on the floor, lift the dog's left paw and place it into the other loop. Some harnesses label which side is meant for which paw. However, many harnesses are reversible. Check your harness to see which type you have. Some harnesses label which side is meant for which paw. However, many harnesses are reversible. Check your harness to see which type you have. Pull the harness up onto your dog. The harness should fit around your dog's body, not around its neck. The loops will settle at the top of the dog's legs against its belly. Tug the side straps up over the dog's belly and onto its back. The harness may have more than one clip to secure it on the dog. For example, it might have a shoulder clip and lower back clip. You may need to pull up and clip the straps one at a time if this is the case. The harness may have more than one clip to secure it on the dog. For example, it might have a shoulder clip and lower back clip. You may need to pull up and clip the straps one at a time if this is the case. Secure the clips on the harness. Slide the two pieces of the clip together. Listen for the click that tells you the clip has attached. Tug on the clip to make sure it doesn't come undone. If your harness has more than one clip, attach all of them. If your harness has more than one clip, attach all of them. Adjust the harness to fit on your dog. Move the adjustable pieces on the harness until they're secure on your dog. Make sure the straps aren't loose enough to come off the dog. Next, check that you can fit two fingers under the harness straps, which ensures the harness won't be too tight on your pup. Check that the dog can't easily slip out of the harness. Make sure it won't easily come down over the dog's paw or up over its head. You will need to adjust the harness every time your dog wears it. Check that the dog can't easily slip out of the harness. Make sure it won't easily come down over the dog's paw or up over its head. You will need to adjust the harness every time your dog wears it. Reward your pup with a treat and praise. This teaches your dog to enjoy putting on its harness. It also makes it easier for you to put on the harness in the future, as your pup will look forward to the treats.